Here we are. That's looking... Okay. It's a bit of a dramatic shift. <laughs> it's a very dramatic shift now. Um... I think maybe the floor I have to change. I, I think I gotta change the walls too. It's a bit too dramatic. But I do like the floor here. I think the floor I move. I got rid of the old door. And now it's just, uh, just a big hole in the wall here on this side. With the sign moved and in big end. With the ceiling sign also scooted a little bit. What is going on there with the signs? Huh. It's just like a... It's just like a small layer that's plastered over, but the underlayer clips there are strange. Uh, but yeah, this is now gone, so I have more room for actual groceries on this side. And with the floor even, yeah, okay, that, that's not so bad. I mean, the, the wall might still need to change a little bit, but um, this, is, this is a lot nicer overall. And then... You know, I'm kind of okay with having this shut out a little bit, maybe. I might be alright with that. Are there, like, any cool floor signs that we can get to maybe put here on the corner just to... You know... Fix it up a little bit? Hmm. You know, maybe that, actually. They don't have different sizes, these. Yeah, I'm right with that. So this guy can go. We can put something else there on the wall. I'm all right with that. That seems totally fine to me. I think I'll just change the color of it. Uh, no, this, this one. Yeah, to something. I'm not really sure what. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. This is this is looking okay. So then we got a nice through route as well. Entirely through. And then a bit more space here for... Hi. Probably the shelves that jut out, actually. That, that'd work pretty okay. <laughs> actually, <laughs> if, I, if I end up doing that. For now, I think I leave it. Until I uh, until at least I get the produce set up, we can move the produce over. That'll make a bit more room, hey, and then I can uh, see about moving those shelves a little bit. So then the back of the shelves act as sort of a wall. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'll do that, and then I can maybe keep a big liquor sign on the wall like I had. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we. I think we do that. I'll probably forget in like 18 seconds, but uh, I think we'll go for that. Tentatively. For now. Maybe. Possibly. You want groceries? Come on, don't lie to me. Keep this between us, okay? What? It's groceries. Thank you. <laughs> the cans of soup? The same company makes all of them. Even the star brands. All star brand soups. They're actually... They're actually the main brand just access because it it's cheaper for the company over the long term instead of shutting down the machinery to just keep it running all the time and then the excess goods that they can't reasonably ship out and sell to people they just leave unlabeled and the label gets supply it's the store brand stuff this it's the same thing my god i had no idea well now you know fuck god try the store brands more it's literally the fucking same for the most part May not be, like, the number one top brand ever, but it is going to be a major brand. Usually. For the most part. I wish they'd tell you that. But they'd rather just lie and make it seem special and different. Rat bastards. Who's who's that angry bald guy over there yelling about corporations? Oh, that's Dootsky. <laughs> he does that sometimes. Don't ask him for help. If, if he does help you, he gives you a whole rant and a whole spiel about all the things. And, oh, exactly. Right on, brother. <laughs> right, right on. 
God, do I not have any restockers? Where is everybody? Hello? I got two of them. Rihanna? Beyond? Hello? They're the type of dudes who just like pull out a big pallet of stuff and... There's Rihanna walking by, like really slowly though. What are you doing, Rihanna? Hey, got a second? Where'd she go? Oh, she's doing clothing now. Okay. Walking over to some more clothing, maybe. No, we're, we're walking back to the other end of the store. Holy shit, this is too real. Yeah, hey, having a quick chat with Dion real quick. Oh, just pretending to face the shelf. Where are you two going? <laughs> There's nothing over there for you. Hey, look at all this. Oh god, this game manages to <laughs> manages to be so realistic. <laughs> I think on accident completely. But holy shit, it's too good, man. Like, oh, just got to restock. And, oh, oh, geez, there's something over way over here. I gotta do, and you just you look, you look upset. That's the secret. You look upset all the time. Nobody bugs you. You look busy. You always just seem a little bit puzzled, a little bit curious, but a little bit frustrated at the same time. And and nobody will bug you. They just think that you're just you know get out of here. Then they just think that you're busy, and just you know, generally fed up with something. It works. God, does it ever work? And they, they're the one in here. Uh, there's Dion. You going home? Oh, they're all going home now. Okay. I was like, there's definitely nothing to stock out there. Uh, all right. Cool. Thanks, um... For the help, I guess? But, <laughs> but like I've been restocking the whole store. <laughs> like all, all of it. It's all empty. It's good though, that means we got a lot of customers through. I just, yeah, I just wonder if the customers stick around after the... after the magazine ads, or if it's only during the ads that we get the excess people. Like, you'd like to think that if you... if you served them well and they had a good time that they come back and you kind of up your your average customer count then. So in the long term of me doing these massive advertising campaign campaigns drop in what? 15,000 per or so? So like, what, like 45, let's say 50,000 bucks. Maybe, maybe once a week. So it's kind of constant. 50,000 bucks a week just to, just to ensure that we get our average customer count outside of advertising up like plus five, plus 10. That'd be all right. That might not be so bad. What's this howdy ass about? You get out of here, sir. As he like elbows stuff off the shelves and <laughs> makes a massive mess of everything as on his way out. Let me gotta clean it up. I gotta, I gotta mop up a mess. Oh. Oops! I dropped hot sauce and vinegar, and it's just all over the aisle now. Oh, jeez. Get that nasty absorbent powder shit out there. That stuff is amazing, by the way. It's like this really loose, flaky... I think it was blue? Maybe like a green? Powder that's just like super absorbent. It absorbs like a thousand times its own weight in liquids. You can just pour it on oil or whatever and then you can sweep it up. Don't breathe it though, man. <laughs> Something so absorbent and dry in your lungs is a... Uh, it's not the good spot for that. You have no interest in food, but let me tell you how wrong you are. Hey, can you help me? Uh, trying to be a bit fancy with it. There we go. You good? Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Hey. Hey. Have a minute. Yeah, today was uh pretty busy seeming, actually. I've also moved the registers there. They're they're not gapped, but registered to register anymore. I think these posters, for whatever reason, this wall is just not happy with having the posters there. I'll have to move them entirely, it turns out. Having them so close together like that, they, they don't really save very well. I don't know why. But they don't. I thought the registers away from the wall a little bit would help. Registers away from the wall. 
it has let the customers leave a bit early, uh, easier, which is nice. Pretty pleased with that. It's a good feeling. Oh yeah, the poster there just deleting itself all the time. It's the same too every time. It's just the way that they clip into clip into each other because they have to be so close to blend together perfectly without a without a gap between. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that exactly. We'll have to uh, we'll have to move it onto a different wall and see if maybe it's just that wall in particular being yucky because uh, I don't know. Something. 190,000 bucks at the end of that day, though. Yeah, 350 people, so that is going down. As expected, the the advertisement, each one's down about 10 to 12%, and today it'll be even lower. We're down to 60% effect on these things. So its effect kind of gets consumed throughout the day. So tomorrow we might be down to like 330, 327 or something like that, visitors. And then maybe back down to base. 300-ish. I hope we get to keep some of them. I really hope so. I want to have just a store with so many customers in there. Because we got the reputation and the sales and all that going on. It's a little disheartening to know that we've maybe possibly already reached the uh, the soft cap. Really hope that's not the case. Hattie and Ajwa both calling in sick. Ugh. That's okay. I got for sales. I got two pe three people coming in at open and two people closing register wise. Two open, three close, one mid, and then restocking just two of them throughout most of the day. Marketing, Jalil still working on it. Not sure if marketing's doing much. I'm pretty sure that's just reputation, but we'll see. Eventually, I'll probably pick up more of them. We'll expand the staff room a little bit and get more of them and just really pound out marketing and see if that does anything at all for me at this point of the game. I don't think it will. Would like to with our leftover funds. Let's see about getting frozen up finally, because if I can get this frozen up along this wall, we can then expand grocery proper. And that'll be good. And then clothing, yeah, probably... Probably clothing back here a little bit and maybe produce up here. Like the change it around a couple times before it's finally done. We'll see what I end up doing. I think education wise we're set largely. Don't feel like putting in points to some people because we're just waiting. I think we're okay. I think we're all caught up on stuff. I think I think I think just under 40,000 projected profits after rebuying everything. That's pretty good. I'm thinking I'm going to take a risk with it and see if I can buy... Yeah, I'm going to see if I can buy the frozen shelves now. That way it's done. And also, maybe see about just moving this straight up. I don't know. It's just not happy here. I don't know. I think I need to get more restockers. We're a bit past noon and the shelves are still basically empty. They take so long in the back room unloading the pallets are so slow. <laughs> it's good experience to get them a little bit faster, but I don't think they get fast enough to just be able to pound that out and do stuff with the store. Thanks. I don't know, man. At least the restockers are fairly cheap. I think the ones that I've got, I don't think a single one of them is over 120 yet. I think like 119 might be the highest that I've got. Hey, a little help. So it's not so bad. It's just, uh, well, it adds up a bit because they, they work most of the day. You know, it's not like I could just have a restocker coming for a bit. Although, saying that, I guess I could. Thank you. I could have just a few restockers come in for the first few hours of the day just to unload pallets, because they always default to doing that first thing if they can. And then, uh... You know, they arrive at like 8 in the morning or something, and then I have 10 in the morning. The other restockers come in. So by the time that second group of stockers come in, the first group is uh, unloading pallets, so they're already sort of like designated as pallet unloaders, so the other people can't do anything except fill shelves. But yeah, this is like, this is horrible out here. Like, you wouldn't think I have any of them. This is, this is really bad, actually. Are you guys, you still doing it, but no, they're done back here. The fuck? I got two of them, Kylie and Dion. There's Kylie back there walking around doing some shoes. 
beyond stuck in traffic mostly. Man, I don't know. Can you help me? Uh, dude, like, put up some shoes. Now he's walking to the other side of the store. Ah. Uh, yes. Hello. Thank you. Sure. Why not? Free stalkers, man. It's hard to find good help in this. It's not like you get people who have like a oh I'm super duper quick trait, so they're like really good for moving stuff around, you know. But because they're not really doing a whole whole lot, I started working on frozen over there, but dude, there's no way at this rate. I'm gonna be filling shells my whole lifetime here. Yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna get frozen out over here. It's gonna be quite the frozen selection because I want to get. Also, not inventory, articles. No, not articles, inventory. Uh, display, grocery, food, refrigerated, I think. Then I want to get these rounded guys, I think. We'll do a little back-to-back -back sort of deal with them. Is that enough space for people? I think so. And then this will be the Frozen Department, pretty much. I don't think we can get things like ice cream, but we could do frozen pizzas, certainly. All the frozen pizzas, we can do uh, meat. We can do all the salads, because I think there's a couple salads that we can get also that we don't have. Like, there's there's stuff. We can, we can do it. We can fill it out. It's okay. In worst case, if I have to have, like, 30 of the same thing, I don't really want that, but... You know, a little bit it is what it is. And this thing is... That's for like a deli or bakery or something. That's not what I'm after. I should probably see... How stocking these go, actually. Are they the same? I kind of forgot. These ones are a bit... Quite a lot different shape, actually, on these ones. So what do we got? Um, I can also apparently put oranges and stuff in there. Hmm. Let me take out some pizzas. Sorry. Oh, I'll deal with it. <laughs> so just uh, just the one shelf, as you would as you would imagine. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We can fit in. Six. We fit in. Okay. It's shorter, but. A bit longer. Hmm. Yes. I think I stick with those. That they're, they're okay enough, I think. Hey, got a second. Hmm. And then I could have I could do another row of these on this side. And then that acts as like the 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 wall, basically. I think. I I don't really know how I want to do this if you can't tell. I I have a loose general idea, but me being me, it, it changes like every time I think about it. It's not easy. Yeah, I think we stop there. We can stop there, maybe get like a end cap or so. That's that's a bit too big. Thank you. Could be a could be a chance to go for one of those dudes. They look a little bit odd though. That I'll be using for produce and such. Oh wait, we're not even refrigerated. But that I'll be using for produce and such. That'll be just fine. Yeah, that looks a bit strange there. And the big tall ones generally always work. If I put a couple of them there. Is that okay? Eh. 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 <laughs> Man, I don't know. How about... Yeah. I guess I could also just squeeze in a little bit of random. That shit is closing time already? How do we do? We winning? 
Okay, I think we're alright. Shit, I totally wasn't paying attention. I got a little bit lost in doing this. This this could work out okay. Uh just the two shelves fitting three. Okay, so six. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. And then another one of these guys. And another one of them. Because I think I will have a sort of wall going across. No, I'm not done. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I, I want to stay late. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work until 4 in the morning. I'll do it. Man, 205,000, though. Yikes. That's really getting there. 331 visitors, 315 customers. Hit rate 95% hit rate with an average deal of 41. That's a bit wild. And these are down to 49%. Well, 52, 49, 55. Right. And I can't have more currently. So tomorrow we'll buy more of that. We've got both marketers working Friday. Five emails. What have I done? Global Warming Awareness Conference. Ecologist segment's going to increase during the three days of the event. Okay. Sure. So I could get some uh, some ecologist articles out there. Feeling sick. Need to raise. Need to raise. Skylar, Aaron, and the Wan. Skylar, Aaron, and the Wan. Really, Dewan? All right, if you say so. Carlisle's feeling sick, but the schedule, aside from new hires, should be kind of sort of in order. Three sales to close, two open, one mid. Three stockers, one at open, one mid to close, kind of sorta. But let's take a look here. Yeah, Michaela's. Basically fired, 160. Maisha, same deal, right? I had the one person replace both of you. I think I want to undo that. We'll have a new button, by the way. You can set somebody to be just like restocking the whole week with that button. Just ask you like what they want to do. That's nice. How do I... Oh, because day off. I was like, why is why does it look so odd? Right. You can be off... Monday, Tuesday, no, you can be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday, Thursday for Maisha. How about? Then you can both be the kind of sort of mid, mid stalker. I'll go like 10 to 16, or 10 to 17, whichever that is. E. So then weekdays I got I got a third person there to help out. Yeah. Kylie will come on in first thing. Start unloading pallets. Michaela will probably also unload pallets. Rob will just be filling the shelves immediately. So at noon we got somebody coming in to help out with shelves. I I have to help fill shelves in the morning, or I unload a pallet, or I make sure the shelves are stocked up in the evening. One of those. It's gotta be one of those. I got a billion registered people closing, Rwan opening. Let's get the one, how about? You can help out with opening. Amadias Delani, you were pretty cheap, right? You're both fairly new, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, let's go 14 to close with you. There, so you're in line with the rest of them. Medi as well. So we got Rowan in, Carlisle is sick. Varun generally needs days off. He's working weekend. Haywood? Yeah, sort of the same deal. Ajani? Guess. Need somebody to help. Help with the open and mid. Help with that rush that we get. Alright. And then 14. That's 2 in the afternoon. That'll be fine. We got another rush starting a bit after that. That'll be okay. Alright, there we go. I took you through with the whole scheduling. I've been skipping that recently because there's not a whole lot to say usually, but yeah, some people might be into that.
So, reordering. Eight hundred fifty-one. Not bad. You know, and considering I spent so much also on the uh, inventory and all that, seventy-seven on the articles that I just bought, thirty-seven thousand on shelving. Still thirteen, almost fourteen thousand profit. Thirteen thousand nine hundred fifty-four. Man, oh man. That is really getting up there. And then just start interview with them. See if you are cool and cheap. You're not. You're actually expensive. So get out of here. Though again, really, it shouldn't matter too much. If I have to spend 200 bucks per hour on people, it is what it is. I got the profits to do that. A restocking marketing. If only I could have you restock for a bit of the day and then switch over to marketing without having to manually do that. If I could schedule that, I'd honestly consider it because I'd have you restock for the first few hours of the day to unload pallets and I'd have you switch over to marketing to close out. Cancel them. All right, so not a whole lot there. Can't quite do that business. Yeah, okay. Moving on, 128,000 moving into this next day. At the rate we're going, we can just order up articles over the weekend and Monday, Monday close up and, and do the big renovation and, and shelf setting and all that. Because I think I want to be close for that. That takes a lot of time to do. And if I get customers going around doing stuff too, uh, Last time I messed with the shelves during opening hours a lot, that was with the grocery section over there, and that was one of our worst days in a very, very, very long time. That wasn't cool. I can also get rid of these end caps when we get the produce up also, actually. I don't know if I'll be keeping end caps. I like the idea of an end cap because it just, it rounds it all off, but... I don't know. We'll see if I got room for it. It could be that I keep it for, um... And maybe a bit of clothing, maybe a bit of just random other grocery. Maybe that's where the salt goes. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we're... We are pretty low on stuff. My minimums are pretty solid. And Carlisle's sick. I'm going to go ahead and claim one of these massive stacks. Look at these things. Holy crap. I'll do this myself to save them a bit of trouble so they can get out there and actually stock the stock the shelves a bit faster while I think about how I want to do the the frozen area. Cause yeah, I want another get a get another line of the frozen in. And then the backside of those coolers can be just shelves for shelves for uh clothing, probably. Or or produce. I probably have clothing there, because having produce at the entrance it seems like a normal grocery store type thing. I'll have clothing in the very back. 